Howdy ladies and gentlemen, Jake from GD Honey Acres here. It is January 1st, 2023. January 1st, 2023. Happy New Year. Can't believe it's already a new year. I'm out in front of the bee yard right now. It's probably in the upper 30s currently. And there are some bees flying. So I at least know from three of the hives that they're alive but we won't know for sure if they're going to survive until january february march april so about three more months four more months maybe that we have of them just doing their thing living off the sugar and the food stores they had so right now that one that one and that one i did see bees coming out of it's still a little cold, but there is some sun on them. And with that, you'll see the bees at the, around this temperature, they'll come out and do like relief flights. And what that means is they're leaving the hive, going to the bathroom, turning around, going right back in. And they'll also carry out their dead. Now, one thing I want to point out, I have a bottom entrance an upper entrance on every hive. Now I've seen some arguments on Facebook lately of people calling other people idiots for having upper entrances. And there's a reason for that. Here, where we can get sometimes a blizzards that do two to three feet of snow, even though we are off the ground quite a ways, that bottom entrance will get covered. So then you have the top entrance open so they can still get out and do their thing. Also, if you have a large die off and that covers that entrance and they can't get rid of the dead bees, you're gonna kill your hive eventually because of that because they can't get out, can't do what they need to do. They're gonna develop sickness because they can't get out and do the relieving flights. So, currently I've seen them come in and out of three hives. Hopefully, that's good news and the rest of them will be doing just as well. We'll have to come out here one of these nights with a Fleur Imager and see what kind of heat signatures we're getting. We go back into a winter weather advisory tomorrow morning at six o'clock and it's gonna last till noon the next day. So, sorry girls, it ain't springtime yet. You gotta deal with the winter and the snow a little bit longer. I'll keep trying to update you guys and hopefully get out here with the floor soon and look and see if we got any heat signatures coming out of the entrances. And if they are, you know what that tells us. It tells us they're alive. We're not gonna be able to see heat through the foam from inside the hive. That foam is too thick, that's two inch foam. We're not gonna see them inside there. We're gonna have to look through the entrances or we could pop the cover and see what we got heat coming out of from the Vivaldi boards. But I'll keep you guys apprised and hopefully we have a good turnout that survives winter. So far we've had a decent cold winter, which is what I want. I don't want it warm. When it's warm, they start moving around, reproducing, um, trying to build up brood and then they burn through all their food stores and that'll ultimately kill the colony as when it gets cold again and they have no more food left to stay warm and survive so hopefully it gets back to cold for a little while longer and once it starts warming up hopefully the flowers shoot up and we get loads of nectar coming for them to get rocking and loads of pollen for them to get brood going all right guys I'll talk to you later. Pray for us. We'll pray for you. I appreciate all the prayers. I'll take every one I get. Love you guys. Later. Bye.